Hello everybody, welcome back to Code Arena. I am Amina and today I am going to show you that how to make this mini project about toy shop. So basically these projects are for your practice. If you are done with HTML and CSS then you have to make some projects by your own. So this is a practice video for you. So let's get started. So firstly, I'm going to go to VS Code and after that I've made two files index.html and styles.css and uh, first I'll make a boilerplate in HTML. After that I will give the title to toys shop and uh, after this I'll link to styles.css. Okay, so we can style our page with different different colors and after that we'll go to body and firstly I'll make a div and give a class to heading. Okay, and inside this heading, I'll write toys shop. And uh, let's put some emojis. There's one. And after giving this heading, we'll study that how our toy shop actually looks like. So this is the look of our toy shop. Basically, we are having six boxes with us and there are different different toys with us. And this is just amazing. So how to do this? Let me show you. First, we'll make a div and we'll name it box1. Okay. And inside this div, I'll just write here same boxes. Why we are writing this? Because uh, if we style this same boxes, then all the boxes will be styled automatically. I'll show you afterwards. For now, don't worry. Okay. And inside this div, we'll make one more div and we'll name it same things okay after this we have this price so we'll just make one more div and we'll name it price and inside this we can write any price like the first price is for 15 dollars so we'll write here 15 dollars okay after this we'll make one button okay so this is the button and inside this button we'll give a class to same buttons because if we style the same buttons then all the buttons would be styled automatically for now please don't worry and we'll write here buy in all capital letters now we will go live and we will see the result okay here is our mini toy shop this one is the heading but we'll make it creative so now we'll go to styles.css and i'll target the heading okay so let's go to heading and inside this First, I'll increase the font size because it is the heading and we'll give it to 80 pixels. Okay. And after that, I'll give the color to light green. Okay. Here is our light green and let's save this. So here is the big font and we have light green. And now we'll give the background color to black as shown here. So let's go to body. Let's target the body. And we'll give the background color to simply black. Okay, here is our mini toy shop. So now we need to change the font of this. Okay, so this is the font and let me show you which font is this. So basically you just need to go to Google fonts and after that you need to search your favorite font. Whichever font you like. I like this one so I'll just select this and here it is selected. After that, I'll copy this link and I'll paste it in my index.html inside the head tag because head tag is made for links. Okay. And after that, I'll copy this CSS link and I'll paste it in our heading. So it will be the same. Let's see. Okay. We are perfectly done with our toy shop. And after that, we'll set the text align to obviously center. Okay, so here it is centered and now we'll give a toy to the same things. So let's say I want a teddy bear as shown in our previous page. Okay, here's the teddy bear emoji by Windows plus dot and let's save this and we'll see the result. So here it, it's in black color so we can't see this but we'll style this. Now we have the same boxes. So now we'll style this. And uh, hopefully you have noticed this that inside the same boxes we have all the things like price or same things or same buttons. So it will be in a proper way, right? So we'll target the same boxes and inside the same boxes 
we'll just set the color to saddle brown because it gives a very good look okay and uh, now we'll set the background color to light green okay as shown in our previous page okay so this is the big box set the padding because we need some space in this so we'll set the padding to 10 pixels so it will be a normal one okay it's good and uh, we'll set the text align to center so all text will be in the center okay and after that we need to change the font family of this so you just need to go to google fonts and you need to search any font you like i'm searching one of my favorite font which is lobster and we'll go to this font and we'll delete this and uh, first i'll just select this font i'll copy this link and i'll paste it in our head section okay and after that i'll go again and this is the css link so i'll paste this in my css and let's save this okay here you can see that it's already changed i think that this teddy bear should be in h1 tag not in a div so we'll just change this here so i'll just do h1 and uh, i'll just change this here okay so this will be closed let's save this okay now it's looking somewhere big and it is in this line only now the main thing which is border radius because it should be much rounded because it will give a better look we'll do border radius to let's say 15 pixels for a normal one it's nice okay, so one thing i've done wrongly so i'll just copy this font family and uh, i'll just select my same things so it will be readable for you as well as for me okay now it's perfect and uh, this is the 15 dollars but i don't want this to be in the same font okay so now what's remaining is the price so i'll target the price and i'll set the font family to let's say sans serif for a normal one okay it's good and uh, i think it should be bold so let's do font weight to bold okay here is the font weight and okay now it's bold after that we'll target the same buttons okay here are the same buttons and now i'll set the font weight to bold then we'll set the background color to light pink so it will give a contrast okay here is our light pink but i think that there should be some border radius too because it's too sharpen we'll set it for five pixels uh, i think it's too much or we'll just set the padding to let's say eight pixels would work okay it's perfect now uh, now we are remaining with our box shadow so this is the box shadow but we'll not do hover right now we'll just go to our vs code and we'll go to same boxes and after that i'll target here box shadow to zero pixels for x axis six pixels for y axis and 10 pixels for the blurity and we'll choose the color white smoke because it's one of my favorite color okay now it's looking like a box and uh, after that we'll do cursor to be pointer so it will be pointed here see this is pointing now when it comes to price we can change the font size to let's say 20 pixels or decrease some size i think we should decrease some size to 18 pixels okay here is the result now it's perfect so we are ready with our boxes and now we need to make these boxes in a side so firstly we'll just do position relative and after that we'll do position absolute so we can uh, manage this box anywhere in the body okay so this is the box and we can manage this box anywhere in this body wherever we want we can use top left right or bottom okay and uh, now it's time to go to index.html and we'll copy this box one copy this and we'll paste this below this after that we'll change the box one to box two 
okay and after that we'll change this toy also so let's see what's the toy next so we have this bull's eye so we'll just do bull's eye let's see where it is okay here it is and we'll just do one more space and we'll change the price to eight dollars okay so here are the eight dollars and let's save this okay we have one more bullseye now let me show you that how it's happening so here we have same boxes right and we have styled the same boxes okay now what will happen that if i made 100 boxes then also it will be the same then also 100 boxes will be styled this way only okay so this is the trick you can do it and you can reduce the lines of code also okay now we'll just set this in a proper way like this one so first i'll target my box one and inside this box one i'll do from the top we can do 130 pixels because there is a heading also so make sure you need to have some space between your heading and your box okay and after that we'll target the box two here is the box two see in the index.html we have this box 2 which is the bullseye so in the box 2 from the top it will be the same 130 pixels okay and after that in the box 1 from the left side we can do 200 pixels so it will be here okay and here is the bullseye so we can do from the left side it should be 450 pixels okay it's nice I think so after this bullseye we have let's see what we have so we have this basketball with us so let's make this basketball let's copy this and we'll just paste this into here and we'll change the box 2 to box 3 and after that we'll change this bullseye to basketball and we'll put an emoji of the basketball let's save this and see the result okay here is the basketball with us and then we'll target the box 3 and from the top it will be the same 130 pixels and from the left side it, it could be let's say 600 pixels okay we need to increase the size so it should be 670 pixels i think so okay now it's good it's pretty nice now let's see what is next so there is a ping pong in the next one so we'll just copy this and we'll paste this here and this is the box 4 and we'll just write here ping pong and we'll put an emoji of it oops we have not mentioned the price in the basketball also so what is the price we have ten dollars and we have twenty dollars for ping pong i think it's a bit expensive because it's our store and here is our ping pong and now the main thing arrives is to increase from the top so we'll just target our box 4 so let's target our box 4 and inside this box 4 from the top we'll not do 130 pixels we'll increase the 130 pixels to 320 pixels so let's see okay we i think we have this perfect look and from the left side we'll do the same as the box one we'll copy this and we'll just paste this here okay it's in the same line i think it should be a bit wider because it's not a perfect fit so we'll set the width to let's say 200 pixels let's save this okay it's nice or we can set the width to 190 pixels okay now it's perfect and uh, now we'll go to index.html once again we'll copy this and we'll paste this here and we'll just write here box 5 and uh, let's see what's the next one so we have badminton and cricket in our next one okay let's write here badminton we'll put an emoji of badminton and after that what's the price of badminton so let's see it's nine dollars and cricket is for thirteen dollars so we'll write here nine dollars and we'll save this and after that we'll target our box five and uh, from the top it will be same because we need to make it in a line so this is the top and from the left side 
we could have 450 pixels as the same of the box 2 so it will be in a level okay it's much good and after that we have cricket and it's for 13 dollars and uh, we'll copy this paste this here and we'll change this box 5 to box 6 which is the last box of our project and we'll set it to cricket let's put an emoji of cricket and after that it's for 13 dollars okay here we have cricket and after that we'll target our last box which is our box 6 and after that we'll set the top to 320 pixels once again and from the left side uh, let's say 670 pixels okay let's save this and uh, I think it's not perfect because we need to increase the width of this so we'll just add the width to 190 pixels as we have done above I think that in box 5 we can decrease some size okay so it will be in the middle okay now it's perfect but we need to do this hover effect and this is the hover effect of the button also it's a bit lighter and we have forget one thing which is to cursor pointer in the buttons okay the last thing which is to do hover effect so we'll target the same boxes and we'll do hover so let's set the background color to light green and we can just change the shade okay i think this should work so let's save this so it's okay and after that we have box shadow so when we hover to this box so we need some box shadow so let's do zero pixels for x axis one pixels for y axis and uh, 50 pixels for the blurity and we'll do this burly wood so let's save this okay we have this perfect match but here it is somewhere transition so we need to make this transition so in the same boxes we'll just write here transition for one second not more than one second okay here's the look so if you want to hover over to buttons you can also do this so we can just do same buttons hover and after that we can set the background color to pink or you can set to baby purple whichever you want so here's the final look or we can set it to pistol also see this will be the look okay so that's it for today guys if you like my video then please share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel and do this practice in html and css this will help you a lot thank you so much for watching